Hi everybody, this is Michael Kosman, and we're going to talk today about fall and the, your fall maintenance checklist as we prepare to head into the winter season here in Michigan. So don't go away. Hey, welcome back. This is Michael Cosman with Keller Williams, the realtor truly cares. And thank you for joining me uh, this Friday. I put out these YouTube videos every Friday and I'm glad you decided to join, with, join me. If you find this valuable, please uh, click uh, share, click the subscribe button and the notification bell will pop up and you'll get them every Friday. So anyway, let's talk about what matters which is the fall season. I love fall, it's one of my favorite seasons after summer, but don't tell my wife that. But anyway, it's, um, it's a great season, but as the temperatures get colder, it's a great time to start preparing for our long winter season here, hopefully not too long, winter season here in Michigan. So if you have a home and you're a homeowner, there's 10 items I'm gonna go through with you rather quickly and explain to you why they're pretty easy to do, uh, but very critical to do. So with that uh, being said, let's dive into it. So number one, if you have a sump pump here in Michigan, uh, and as I do, it's a good idea to check your sump pump because lately we've been getting a lot of rain and with fall that means more rain, more condensation, more snow, and the sump pumps are working overtime. So it's a good idea to, to clean out your sump pump. You can take a shop vac and clean out any extra sediment there. Once it's clean, pour a five gallon bucket of water into it to make sure the sump pump is functioning properly and there's no hiccups. But it's a good, good idea to check on your sump pump. Number one. Number two, a good idea as winter approaches, it's a great time uh, that the temperatures are cool uh, to get this project done. Seal your driveways and walkways with an exterior concrete to make sure there's no cracks that get any bigger, but just to make sure it protects it from the salt and ice damage. And so it keeps your concrete dry, uh, keeps your concrete secure and sealed and do it when it's dry out there. So number three, uh, clean your gutters and your downspouts. If your home has a lot of trees around it, like we do, we have a lot of trees here in Michigan, uh, it's a great idea to make sure you get up there, clean out those gutters. It can be a thankless job, but it pays dividends in the long run. You do not want ice dam backing up in your gutters there and ice dams there, you know, uh, wreaking havoc on your roof and uh, consequently your um, uh, down, down the sides of your home. So anyway, uh, it avoids potential flooding. So number four, check um, as it gets colder, it's a great time as the temperatures get cooler, check for drafts and inspect all your weather stripping around your house, particularly uh, your doors and your windows. You know, you, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get um, some caulk, caulk your windows, get some weather stripping along the bottom of your doors and s make sure your home is ready and sealed up so that way you stay energy efficient and keep those drafts out. Number five, this goes um, without saying, but every month you should be checking this anyway, but especially uh, even more so in the winter time, check your furnace and your humidifier filters. Make sure those are cleaned out and uh, replaced at least once a month. In my house, sometimes we do it twice a month if I'm able to. Uh, so make sure that, that is, you know, the last thing you want to do is have your furnace fail in the middle of winter because you haven't checked your furnace or your uh, humidifier filters and they're clogged up. So number six, um, as you go into, you know, usually October, November is a great time, start winterizing your uh, your hose bibs. Make sure you take your all your hoses, de 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 disconnect them and run, make sure all the water is drained out of them and seal them back up. And, and then winterize your sprinkler systems uh, would go into number seven. Uh, you know, you could use the air compressor, blood, all the water. You don't want any water in any of your sprinkler lines and your host bibs or anything like that because that would definitely uh, do damage later on down the road if it freezes up. You don't want your, your, your lines to freeze up. Number eight, test all your smoke 
and carbon monoxide detectors. Check them, it's a great time. Usually in the middle of winter, it seems like when I have one go off and I don't have any batteries, it's such a nuisance, but you wanna make sure that as you're in home, the home, you're using the home a lot more, all your smoke detectors and your carbon monoxide detectors are working and functioning properly and you got fresh batteries in there and keep some fresh batteries on hand just in case. Um, number nine, check your roof. You know, this is a great time to check your roof. Roofing companies uh, will come out if you ask them to check your roof, check your sh shingles. If, you, if your roof's starting to get a little bit longer in, the, in tooth, then it's a great time to, to have um, a roofing company. Usually they'll do it free of charge if you call out because they're always looking for the work. And this is, is as we get in the winter season, they tend to slow down a little bit there. So they're, they're more open to uh, having, a bit, having an open schedule there. So that's number nine. Finally, number 10, test all your winter equipment. Your snow blower, uh, anything that is gonna help you remove snow, you know, make sure you test it out, make sure the oil's good in there and it's changed, make sure you got fresh gas, test it, you know, uh, rev it up a couple times prior to the snow, because once the snow hits, the last thing you want is your snow blower, or your, your winter equipment not working properly. So a quick recap of all these items, uh, of these 10 items, let's go through them real quickly. Number one, clean your sump pump. Number two, seal your driveways and your walkways. Number three, clean your gutters and downspouts. Number four, check for drafts, inspect all your weather stripping on your doors and windows. Number five, change the furnace filter and humidifier filter. Number six, winterize your ho hose bibs. Number seven, um, uh, winterize your sprinkler systems. Number eight, test all your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. Number nine, check your roof. And finally, number 10, test all your winter equipment. So that's a quick 10 items to prepare for this winter in Michigan. I hope you found it valuable. It reminds me of a uh, parable in the Bible in, in Matthew 25, the parable of the 10 virgins, where five of them were wise and they brought their oil, and five of them were not wise, the foolish virgins, and they did not have their oil, and in the midnight hour, the bridegroom came and the foolish ones were not prepared. Um, in, in the parable, uh, we know that we didn't know what hour the bridegroom came, but here in Michigan, we know that winter's coming. So let's prepare, prepare, prepare. So anyway, I hope this is a good, easy checklist for you, 10 quick items, and it doesn't take a lot of time. I hope you found it valuable. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Michael Cosman, The Realtor Truly Cares. We'll see you next week.